We have a couple, uh, a few superlatives we want to ask you. Some Outer Banks cast superlatives. Not your characters, but the actual uh, cast members. And mm -hmm. we're going to start off with who is the best dressed? If not me, it's probably Maddie Bailey, but I would go me. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it's you or her too. That was in my head. Yes. Who has the oh, best wait, laugh? We're not, we're not, <laughs> best laugh? Yep. Best laugh. Maddie Klein. Maddie Klein always makes me laugh. Every when she laughs, I laugh. I think her laugh's hilarious. Has one of those contagious laughs. And one of those smiles too that like Maddie Maddie's somebody I, I like laugh with for like We'll laugh at a joke for like an hour and a half too. We'll just she she'll make she'll have little side comments where if you're not paying attention, you'll be like, "Wait, Maddie, what did you just say?" <laughs> like, Who is the best person to get a drink with? All of us. I don't know. <laughs> we just kind of vibe together. It's like I wouldn't I wouldn't pick one over the other. We're we're all just like that. So nice. <laughs> Who is most likely to leave you on red? Drew or Bailey? <laughs> Bailey, no, Bailey's pretty good at us. Drew or Rudy? They don't, yeah. they're not on their phones a lot. <laughs> Those two are the ones who are like, oh, I saw this. I'm like, texted that a week ago, Drew. Yeah. But, <laughs> they answered in their head. That's always the yeah. excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, I saw it. Totally like, I totally forgot. They were like, yeah, I was going to call, but uh, they, he fell asleep on a hammock or something. I don't know. <laughs> Acting. Most likely to send a random FaceTime. Bailey. Bailey. Bailey's our FaceTimer. She'll call everybody. Yeah, she's she she loves FaceTime, but she texts too. So she she doesn't like she'll she'll surprise you with it. Like I've definitely got the most random FaceTimes from Bailey, like out of nowhere. So <laughs> definitely Bailey. <laughs> okay. And then this last one I think probably might be everyone as well, because I feel like it ties in with the rest the end of the show. Best person to be on a deserted island with? The Pogues. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were. I mean, the, the debauchery that went on in Barbados is legendary. Like, we we only wish we were there for longer. That's yeah, it. I can only and imagine. You also, yeah. Rihanna, if uh, if you decide to come out while we film season three, we will get you any in Outer Banks. You'll get the cameo of a lifetime. I promise you. This is a message to Riri. I know. Rock ASAP. Yeah, ASAP come down too. Please, both of y'all, come be in Outer Bank season three. Listen, Amazing. if Rihanna and ASAP get in it before me, I'm fine with that <laughs> because I love them. <laughs> One day we're we're pushing for it. We'll it's it's bound no, to it's happen. Okay. Just let Rihanna and ASAP have it, please. <laughs> we if we get if, I, I haven't like I, I haven't heard anything about a season three yet, just because like Netflix is so tight lipped with this. But if we if we get it, you know, never know. Shoot, you don't know what's happening or where we could be. Exactly. We have no idea where the Pogues are right now. Not a clue. Not that a clue. <laughs> they, but, we, but I have a feeling we will find out. Yes, definitely. So like you said, we don't have it to to totally confirmed. But if there is a season three, what are your biggest hopes for Pope in a season three? Uh, yeah, I hope he gets that cross. I mean... So do we. You no, know, it's, <laughs> it's his family's. It definitely belongs to him. You know, he's got the right to it, so... You know, it'll be, I hope he, I hope he gets that justice, you know, for his, for his relatives. I hope he gets that justice for his people. And I hope that kind of, he just continues to grow his confidence and become just a badass as he is. Agreed. Started doing some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> he really did. Was that, how was it, and this just popped into my head, but how was it after the, uh, the, the wasp stings? Like you're, how long did it take for you to get that full, I don't even know what they had to do to you to make you look so swollen. I got a, I got a, I got a video of uh, Holly putting the prosthetics on me in time lapse. I'm, I'll probably post it like in, in like a, like you know in a day or two or something. Just some behind the scenes of it. But it was like in like stages. Like some some I would have a little bit, and then like it'd be like full, and then it'd be like a little bit less. And so the full makeup took a little like probably like two hours to do. So you just sit there for two hours. They put on the makeup. You know, not, nothing too long. But the hard part was taking it off because all of it likes to stick to your face mm. and you can only take it off with this very specific oil. Cause like it doesn't come off with water or like 
if you rub it, it's like sticky. So it'll like, you know, tear your skin. So you have to like sit there and like let them like slowly peel each part of this like prosthetic off. You which makes me feel bad for yeah i'll post it i'll show i'll show everybody uh, and I, I i'll have a little video of me like taking it off my eye too it's kind of gross but it I'm makes me feel bad for those people who like full makeup in like movies and tv where they're like all the time a different color or something <laughs> like that i'm consuming and they're doing it every day like they're getting in that chair at yeah. 3 a.m and yeah yeah that's that real deal <laughs> <laughs> definitely 